Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today we're going to learn about dividing integers. As we look at our real world link involving, ah, sharks. A great white shark has 3,000 teeth. It gains and loses teeth often in its lifetime. Suppose a great white loses three teeth each day for five days without gaining any. The shark has lost 15 teeth in all. Write a multiplication sentence for the situation. Well, if we're losing three teeth, that's a negative three times the five days equals a negative 15. Now, it says in number two, division is related to multiplication. Write two division sentences related to the multiplication sentence you wrote for exercise one. Well, we have negative 15 <laughs> divided by a negative three is going to equal five since it's a positive 5 we had there. And then negative 15 divided by 5 is going to equal negative 3. Now, work with a partner to complete the table. Well, you may not have a partner with you, so you can just follow along. The first one's done for us, where 2 times 6 was 12, and so 12 divided by 6 is 2, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. And so we had the same signs here. Our quotients were 2 and 6, and both were positive. Now let's work here on the th number three. We have, let's do negative eight divided by negative four. Well, that's going to equal a positive two, and we have same signs again. Our quotient was two, and our result was positive. Well, for the other one, we have negative eight divided by 2 is negative 4. Well, do we have same signs or different signs? Here we have different signs. Our quotient was a negative 4, and so our result was negative. What about our next row? Well, we have negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. But our division sentence, we can write negative 15 divided by, let's go to the positive 5 first, equals negative 3. We're just kind of undoing it. So we have here different signs with the 15 and 5. Our result, our quotient, was a negative 3, so our quotient was negative. Compare that to negative 15 divided by negative 3, where we have the same signs and that's going to equal the positive 5. And is our quotient positive or negative? Well, it's positive. So, so far, in all of our examples, we've had same signs are positive, but the different signs, when we've had a negative with the positive and we're dividing, we've ended up with a negative answer. Seems very, very familiar or very similar as well to our multiplication rules. Let's finish up the table. Negative 2 times negative 5 equals 10. So we'll have 10 <coughs> divided by negative 5 equaling negative 2. And then 10 divided by negative 2 equaling negative 5. Well, in both of these, we have different signs that 10 is positive and the 5 is negative, And here, the 10 is positive and the 2 is negative. Our quotients were negative 2 and negative 5. So both our quotients were negative. So as we look at our pattern here, when we have the same signs, we had positive results. When we have different signs when we're dividing, we have negative results, just like multiplication. Now, so our rule for dividing integers with different signs, it's, as it says, the quotient of two integers with different signs is negative. Well, as we look down at 20 divided by negative 4, just do 20 divided by 4 is 5. And a positive divided by a negative, here we have different signs, is negative 5. For negative 81, now this looks like a fraction, kind of is a fraction, but it also means the same thing as division. So we have negative 81 divided by 9 is another way of reading that, or what is that. And we have a negative divided by a positive, which is negative. And our last one, negative divided by a positive, we have the 5, but it's a negative 5. 
What about when we have the same signs? Well, it's saying the quotient of two integers with the same sign is positive. Well, we've done 15 divided by 5 for years. That's just 3. But what might be new for us is the negative 64 divided by negative 8 is a positive 8. Probably the weirdest rule in math, why a negative divided by a negative is positive. And again, you can see in the multiplication and division sentences how that works. But as we look at our problems here, a negative 24 divided by a negative 4 is a positive 6. A negative 9 divided by a negative 3 is a positive 3. And a negative 28 divided by a negative 7 is a positive 4, as a negative divided by a negative is always positive. Now, if we're going to evaluate the expression, go ahead and make your substitutions. Negative 33 divided by negative 3. Well, what's 33 divided by 3? It's 11. And a negative divided by a negative is simply positive 11. As we look at our word problem, because yes, we can solve word problems, the average temperature in January for the North Pole in, well, Alaska, I guess, is negative 24 degrees centigrade. Use, or Celsius, use the expression 9C plus 160 divided by 5 to find this temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. Round to the nearest degree, then explain its meaning. Well, let's start off by rewriting the expression. The expression is 9C plus 160 divided by 5. And our Celsius temperature here is negative 24, so make that substitution in. 9 times negative 24 plus 160 divided by 5. Well, I don't know 9 times 24 in my head, so I'm going to just write it out down here. So I have negative 216, since a positive times a negative is negative, plus 160 divided by 5. Now let's use our adding integer rules here. I have different signs, means I'm going to subtract 216 from 160, 6, 5, so 56, which is a negative 56 over 5. Remember, the absolute value of 216 here is larger than the absolute value of 160. And then when I have 56.00 divided by 5, it goes in once. This goes in once again. And I have my 2. So this simplifies into negative 11.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Now when I want to explain its meaning, basically negative 24 degrees Celsius is equal to negative 11.2 degrees Fahrenheit. That's it. Good luck.